imagine, if you will, sitting down to your morning coffee and turning on your home computer to read the day's newspaper. Well, it's not as far fetched as it may seem. So, this is what you see when you walk into my room. Shutting the door. So first I just have my light switch and then I have a, a fan. You're going to see a lot of fans in here because Flusher Wing has no AC and it gets really hot and I like to be very cold. So if you go up, I have this blanket. Um, I'm pretty sure it's from Tuesday morning. I really enjoy it. And then if you look here, this was filled with Hershey Kisses at the beginning of the year but it's second semester now so I need to refill it up. But if you look down, I have this cute little organizer which I got from Home Goods, a small fan, and then some lavender spray that I just sprayed here sometimes. And then you see this big black and white tapestry that I got from Amazon. And I also have this um, thing of tissues, an organizer, some books, my jewelry, a Buddha head, my favorite pens, the paper mate pens, they're so nice, a clock some paper clips, some scrunchies, tacks, my um, PC, um, some goldfish, and then over here we have my broom, my longchamp, and my backpack. So this closet isn't used because right now I'm in here alone, so I can show you what it looks like for an open closet with nothing in it. I can't really open it right now, but it's pretty spacious. I'll show you mine too. And I also have a string of lights up here that maybe I'll do a video of at night so you can see the difference. So moving over, we have my little vanity section. So at the top, I have some of my favorite mugs. Last year I brought my Keurig, but I don't really use it now, so I just kept that at home. Moving down, I have my perfumes. This is the One Direction perfume. I have my printer, a speaker, and then a little plant, and my Burberry perfume. So I definitely recommend bringing a speaker because one, I have so many fans in here and it gets really loud and really hard to hear. So not even just for like music and stuff, it's good when you're like watching videos or even on the phone to have a speaker. And then come down and I have my makeup. So I tried to make a little vanity section over here. So I have my brushes, my brushes in a cup and in a mason jar. So yeah, my brushes are in a cup and in a mason jar. I think that's a better view. And then here is my mirror and I have all of my makeup products and some scrunchies. So if you go over here, this is my closet. So my room is very black and white, so I wanted to add a pop of color. So I did all color pictures. I put a backpack that I got from Paris when I was in a senior in high school. And then I have all of my little door decks that I've had since I've come to college. So this is my Summer Academy one. This is my freshman year one, so cute. And then I actually switched dorms this year, so this is from my first dorm this year. Really cute, I really love door decks. Now moving over, you see my drink here, I'll move that. But I keep the shoes that I wear the most, so I have my Adidas, my Converse, my Air Force One, my Fry Boots, my Pink Crocs, my Slippers, and then I have my bags too, so I have my Coach bag, my Michael Kors bag, my black Timberlands, and my tan Timberlands. And above that, we have a lot of storage in this room, which is nice. I don't utilize all of it, but that's okay. So up here, I have some going away bags when I'm leaving. And then I also have all of my laundry supplies. I definitely recommend bringing small laundry supplies rather than large, because I hate lugging it, but I continue to get big, like, deep detergent and fabric softener. Okay, moving over here, we have my um, sink vanity area, I guess. So here's my sink. I keep just some cleaning supplies right here, a washcloth here, um, my, like, just all my, like, daily stuff. And then in here I also keep, oh, I also keep some extra stuff as well. And I also like to keep these just for some added scent. Let me go back to my closet and show you what it looks like. So when I open my closet, this is what you see. My closet is not very clean, but it's fine. So I have my extra shoes that I don't wear that much, like bean boots, small Converse, my Birkenstocks, and Vans. And then I have my laundry bin, which is from Home Goods, I think. Let me close that. So there are also these three little shelves in here. So I keep some sweaters in here. And then here are my hung up clothes. 
I haven't put all my clothes back in here because I'm just getting back from Christmas break, so this will be filled up a little bit more. And then above, I just have miscellaneous stuff and another, um, one of the scent things. I also recommend those. I love those. Okay. Now, moving on, here is my bed. As you can see, I was watching the Fosters. <laughs> it's so good. But, so, under my bed, I have this Kate Spade blanket that I got from... TJ Maxx, I think, just a black felt blanket. I also recommend the blankets from Costco, but I don't know if they make those anymore. And I have this um, comforter. It's like, I don't even know how to describe it. Tufted? Like, I don't know. It's from Home Goods as well. I have my little sheep from Walmart and then my pillow. So here's my little window, and you can also open the blinds. Let me see if I can show you. So here, oh, that was rough. Here are me opening the blinds. So there's a lot of light that can be allowed in here, so let's keep it in here to show the view. So yeah, I usually keep it closed though, just because I forget to open it. And up here, I usually keep two fans, just for some extra air to be going in and out, but I decided to move them so it looks a little better in here. Okay, and like I said, I don't have a roommate right now, so you can go over here and you see, I have a stand-up fan here, this white fan, and then I have a black fan here, and my trunk. So this is the extra bed. I keep my ottoman down there, my ottoman's from Target. I keep some snacks here, and then this is my luggage from um, Christmas break, so I'm not in the mood to unpack that right now. But if we go up, you will see this is the spare bed. So I didn't know what I was gonna do with this. I didn't wanna get a full comforter for it because I just didn't. So I got a blanket from Walmart. So it's really soft. But what I don't like about it is that it doesn't go to the each end. But I mean, it's okay. This is just a spare bed. And so above that, I have this pillow, which is also from Home Goods. I don't remember where these two pillows are from, but I really like them. And then I just did like a little collage of black and white pictures because like that was my theme. And also, I have this rug, which is from um, Tuesday mornings as well. Okay, now when I sit down here, you'll see I have my little mini fridge. It is from Walmart, and I have this sticker that says, there's no place like home, which I got freshman year from um, McComas, our gym. And then you open it, and I just have nothing in here, really, because my fridge is very small. So I would recommend getting a bigger fridge. Um, but I have my Brita filter, my Camelback, a soda that I got, and then these little um, waters freshers which I also recommend if you don't like drinking water um because that's all I really drink unless I like get a soda from the um from the what's it called vending machine so I usually just drink water in my Starbucks cup right there with some of these um flavorings in it so also since I am in my room alone I have both dressers under here so this one is filled with summer clothes and this one is filled with like my leggings and my like undergarments. Okay. Also, I keep a lot of my supplies in my trunk and in my little ottoman. So let's move back over to my desk, I guess. So in my desk, I have various things. I have Chick-fil-A socks, study guides, extra books, and tape and stuff. And then over here, a bunch of junk earrings and stuff but honestly to be honest last year I brought a lot of stuff to my dorm it was very cluttered and this year I wanted to lessen the amount of stuff that I was bringing I think I did really good of that like you'll see I have a lot of blank walls where last year I would have added um posters and just like I don't know I I am very like cluttered minded so I wanted to very, to solve that this year I think I did a very good job of being very minimal with my room um for me at least and um yeah so this room tour was pretty um pretty short but I do recommend bringing a mirror over here where your makeup stuff is with um a light on it like I have one at home and I wish I would have brought that because sometimes I can't really even see myself when I'm doing makeup and I'll look into the mirror and I'm like, oh my gosh, I look crazy because I don't have the extra light. And I also recommend bringing a broom and a dustpan and also a Swiffer. I brought a Swiffer last year. But yeah, 
So, this is my room. I'll do a little piano. And I hope you liked it. Town in this less than fashionable cubby hole at the San Francisco Examiner. These editors are programming today's copy of the paper into that same Ohio computer. When the telephone connection between these two terminals is made, the newest form of electronic journalism lights up Mr. Howard.